So one thing that I didn't show when I did the first fix uh, video showing me doing these stairs was uh, this little second return newel that I put in. I wasn't going to do it initially on the first fix phase, but I thought actually it would be better if I did and going to make it easier for me. We've not got um, timber aprons. Now normally you'd have a timber apron would run along here to cover the floor joists. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to uh, mirror what we've got on this side, which is basically, I'm just going to quickly show you what I've done with this. Uh, I'll quickly talk you through what I've done with this newel is pretty much the same as I did with these newels, except I've housed it two ways. So it's housed over this joist running this way and that trimmer running that way. So that's all in and lovely job of cutting that little bit of uh, handrail in there. So just want to show you the detail. Basically, this is the the floor capping bit that we put on. So I've cut the flooring back and what that enables me to do, if you look here, is this floor capping now uh, is exactly the same width as the newel. Um, and what I've then done is cut this, it, it, it managed to be, um, coincidentally it was 25 mil. So basically what that leaves, you can see this distance here between the face of this timber and the inside edge of this uh, groove, that is exactly 15 mil, which is half inch plasterboard plus some skim. So all that's gonna happen now is when the tackers come in, they'll tack this ceiling through here carry it on up round, I'll get them to leave it slightly long, um, and you can see I've sort of mocked a bit up here, so the plaster wall will come up here, leave it slightly long, and then simply all I'll do is when I fit my capping, look, that capping fits straight over it. As you can see, up from under there, that leaves a lovely, sort of nice, clean detail straight into there. And then when I do the second fix video of these stairs, I'll show you how I cut these half newels in so they don't have to go down through the um, joists makes it nice and clean. So uh, I just, again, tiny, not even a video really, just explain how I've done that detail and how I think it looks really neat and tidy. I say what I'll do is I'll bring, I'll cut this round here a little bit like a window board and return that sort of moulding to itself. Um, I'll do the same on this side as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you can see what I've done there and follow that. I think it's a cracking, nice, neat looking detail. It doesn't le leave the stairwell looking too heavy when you get, sometimes when you get big sort of oak aprons in here, it can all look a bit, bit heavy, so, okay.